1930, economist John Maynard Keynes predicted a 15-hour work week by now. He believed technology would create more free time. Fast forward to today. Americans are working more than ever. The American dream promises success through hard work. But somewhere along the way, the system broke down. We're overworked, stressed out, and struggling to stay afloat. What went wrong? Why is American work culture so messed up? In this video, we'll explore the causes and consequences of this crisis. We'll also look at potential solutions for a healthier work-life balance. Buckle up, because it's going to be a wild ride. Let's start with the numbers. Americans work an average of 1,811 hours per year. That's significantly more than workers in other developed countries. For example, people in the UK work 1,532 hours, and Germans work even less at 1,341 hours. The always-on mentality is pervasive in American workplaces. Many Americans feel pressured to be available 24-7. It's no surprise that many people are working multiple jobs just to make ends meet. The cost of living is skyrocketing, while wages remain stagnant. Something's got to give. This isn't just about working hard. It's about a system that's failing its people. From exorbitant health care costs to crippling student loan debt, the pressures are mounting. We're sold the idea that success comes from endless hustle. But at what cost? Is this really the American dream? Or is it a nightmare disguised as ambition? Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this broken system. Americans are working more hours than people in many other developed countries. The Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, or OECD, tracks this data. It's not even close. We're talking about hundreds of hours more each year. That's like working an extra few months compared to our European counterparts. It's not just about the sheer number of hours, though. It's the expectation of constant availability. The always-on work culture is a huge problem in America. People are expected to answer emails and phone calls at all hours. There's this pressure to always be hustling, even during personal time. This constant connectivity blurs the lines between work and life. It leads to burnout, stress, and a lack of downtime. This isn't sustainable in the long run. Many Americans are forced to work multiple jobs just to make ends meet. The cost of living is rising faster than wages. Housing, health care, and education have become incredibly expensive. People are struggling to afford basic necessities. This means less time with family, less time for themselves, and less time to rest and recharge. It's a vicious cycle. The hustle culture is deeply ingrained in American society. We're told that success is a direct result of how hard we work. But is it really worth sacrificing our health and well-being? We need to question this relentless pursuit of more. More work, more money, more success. It's time to prioritize our well-being and create a healthier work-life balance. The roots of America's workaholic culture run deep. The Protestant work ethic with its emphasis on hard work and discipline has shaped the nation's values for centuries. This belief system, while promoting strong morals, has also intertwined work with moral worth. This mindset suggests that success is a sign of God's favor, while struggle implies a lack of effort or faith. This creates immense pressure to constantly strive, equating busyness with virtue and leisure with laziness. The American dream narrative further fuels this work-obsessed culture. It promises that anyone, regardless of background, can achieve success through hard work and determination. While inspiring, this narrative often ignores systemic barriers and privileges. This idealized version of upward mobility puts immense pressure on individuals to climb the ladder, often at the expense of their well-being. It fosters a culture of comparison and competition, leading to feelings of inadequacy and the need to constantly prove oneself. Adding fuel to the fire is the emphasis on material success as a measure of worth. The American dream is often depicted with tangible symbols of wealth, fueling a culture of consumerism and keeping up with the Joneses. This constant desire for more creates a never-ending cycle of work and spend. People are driven to work longer hours to afford bigger houses, fancier cars, and luxurious vacations, perpetuating a cycle of work-related stress and financial strain. A recipe for disaster. This combination of the Protestant work ethic, the allure of the American dream, and a focus on material success has created a perfect storm for an unhealthy work culture. It's, well, it's a recipe for burnout, anxiety, and a diminished quality of life. 
The consequences are far-reaching, impacting not just individual well-being but also families, communities, and society as a whole. It's time to reevaluate our priorities and create a healthier, more sustainable approach to work and life. The price is too high. The American dream is becoming increasingly out of reach for many, partly due to the soaring cost of living. Housing prices have skyrocketed, making it nearly impossible to afford rent or a mortgage on a single income in many cities. Healthcare costs are astronomical, leaving many families one medical emergency away from financial ruin. Basic necessities like groceries and utilities are also becoming increasingly expensive, putting a strain on household budgets. Trapped in debt, education, once seen as a pathway to a better life, is now a major contributor to the financial burden faced by many Americans. The cost of college has skyrocketed, forcing students to take on massive loans just to get a degree. This leaves graduates starting their careers already drowning in debt, impacting their ability to save, invest, and build a secure future. The student loan debt crisis is a major drag on the economy and a significant source of stress for millions. Falling behind. While the cost of living and education have soared, wages for most Americans have remained stagnant for decades. Despite increased productivity and economic growth, the benefits haven't trickled down to the working class. This means people are working longer and harder for less, struggling to keep up with the rising costs of basic necessities. The gap between the rich and the poor continues to widen, creating a system where the American dream feels increasingly out of reach for many. Living on the edge. Unlike many other developed countries, the United States lacks a robust social safety net. This means that when Americans face unexpected hardships like job loss or illness, they often have very limited support systems to fall back on. This lack of security contributes to the cycle of debt and financial instability. It also creates immense anxiety and pressure, as individuals feel solely responsible for their well-being with little societal support. Profits over people. Adding insult to injury is the lean and mean mentality prevalent in many American corporations. Companies prioritize maximizing profits and shareholder value, often at the expense of employee well-being. This results in a relentless focus on efficiency and cost-cutting. Workers are seen as expendable resources, leading to job insecurity, stagnant wages, and inadequate benefits. This profit-driven approach fosters a culture of fear and silence, where employees are afraid to speak up about their needs or concerns. The American workplace often feels like a never-ending race. There's this constant pressure to prove your worth by working long hours and taking on extra tasks. You're expected to be on all the time, responding to emails after hours and always striving for that next promotion. This relentless hustle can take a toll on your mental and physical health. It can lead to burnout, anxiety, and a lack of work-life balance. In contrast, many European countries have mandated vacation time, often several weeks per year. They understand the importance of rest and relaxation for both employee well-being and productivity. Americans are notorious for not taking enough vacation time. Remember lunch breaks? That precious hour in the middle of the workday when you could step away from your desk and recharge. Sadly, they seem to be a dying breed in American work culture. Many people eat lunch at their desks, feeling pressure to power through the day. This lack of breaks can lead to decreased focus, increased stress, and reduced productivity in the long run. Unions play a crucial role in protecting workers' rights and promoting fair labor practices. They give workers a collective voice to negotiate for better wages, benefits, and working conditions. However, union membership in the United States has been declining for decades. This decline in unionization has left many workers vulnerable to exploitation and unfair treatment. In contrast, many European countries have strong unions that play a significant role in shaping workplace policies. When it comes to work-life balance, the United States has a lot to learn from other developed countries. Many European nations prioritize employee well-being, offering generous vacation time, paid parental leave, and shorter work weeks. These countries recognize that a happy and well-rested workforce is a more productive workforce. They also understand the importance of fostering a healthy work-life balance for the overall well-being of society. The relentless grind of American work culture is taking a toll on our lives in ways we might not even fully realize. Day in and day out, we push ourselves to meet deadlines, achieve targets, and climb the corporate ladder. But at what cost on our health and well-being? 
The constant pressure to perform and excel is not just a professional burden. It seeps into our personal lives, affecting our relationships, our hobbies, and our overall happiness. Stress, burnout, and exhaustion are rampant. We see it in the tired eyes of our colleagues, the frequent sick days, and the growing number of people seeking medical help for stress-related issues. It's a silent epidemic that's slowly eroding our quality of life. We're constantly plugged in, feeling the pressure to be productive even when we're supposed to be relaxing. The lines between work and personal time have blurred, making it difficult to truly disconnect and recharge, even during our supposed downtime. Vacations are no longer a time to unwind, but another opportunity to catch up on work. We check emails at the dinner table, take business calls during family outings, and bring our laptops to bed. This constant state of stress can lead to a weakened immune system, making us more susceptible to illnesses. It's not uncommon to see people popping pills to manage headaches, stomach issues, and other stress-induced ailments, sleep problems, and an increased risk of heart disease and other health problems. Insomnia is becoming a common complaint, with many of us tossing and turning, unable to quiet our minds from the day's worries. It's not just our physical health that suffers. Our mental health takes a hit too. The constant stress and pressure can lead to anxiety, depression, and other mental health issues that can be just as debilitating as physical ailments. Our mental health takes a hit too. More and more people are seeking therapy and counseling to cope with the overwhelming demands of modern life. Rates of anxiety and depression are on the rise, affecting people of all ages and backgrounds. The stigma around mental health is slowly lifting, but the problem is growing faster than the solutions. Fueled by the pressures of keeping up with the demands of work, the fear of falling behind, of not being good enough, or of losing our jobs keeps us in a constant state of high alert, and the fear of financial instability. The cost of living continues to rise, and many of us are working multiple jobs or extra hours just to make ends meet. This financial pressure adds another layer of stress to an already overwhelming situation. The irony is that we're often working ourselves sick in the pursuit of a better life. We sacrifice our health, our time, and our happiness for the promise of future rewards that may never come. In the pursuit of a better life, it's a vicious cycle that needs to be broken. We need to prioritize our well-being, set boundaries, and find a balance that allows us to thrive both personally and professionally. The lack of work-life balance in America doesn't just impact individuals. It affects our families and communities as well. Parents are forced to make impossible choices between work and family time. Children are growing up with stressed out, overworked parents who have little time or energy for quality time. We're missing out on school plays, family dinners, and those precious moments that make life meaningful. Our social lives suffer as well. We're too exhausted to connect with friends, volunteer in our communities, or even just relax and recharge. We're becoming a society starved for time, and the consequences are far-reaching. Here's a thought. Working longer hours doesn't necessarily make us more productive. In fact, studies have shown that there's a point of diminishing returns when it comes to work hours. After a certain point, our productivity plateaus, and then it starts to decline. When we're overworked and exhausted, we're more likely to make mistakes, our creativity suffers, and we're less engaged in our work. Rest, breaks, and time off are not luxuries. They're essential for our well-being and for optimal performance. When we allow ourselves time to recharge, our minds and bodies can recover, leading to improved focus, creativity, and problem-solving skills. It's time to ditch the hustle-harder mentality and embrace the power of rest. The American work culture crisis is a complex issue with deep roots. It's time to reevaluate our definition of success and challenge the belief that our worth is solely tied to our productivity. What if we prioritized well-being, relationships, and meaningful work over the relentless pursuit of more? What if we embraced a culture that values time off, work-life balance, and the pursuit of passions outside of work? It's time to create a future where work enhances our lives, not consumes them. A future where we have the time and energy to pursue our passions, connect with loved ones, and contribute to our communities. The choice is ours to make. We've uncovered some hard truths about American work culture. It's a culture that has been ingrained in us from a young age, where success is often measured by how much we can achieve, how many hours we can put in, and how far we can push ourselves. But at what cost? 
It's a system that often prioritizes profits over people, pushing individuals to the brink of burnout in the name of the American dream. The relentless drive to succeed has created an environment where overwork is not just encouraged, but expected. Employees are often seen as mere cogs in a machine, their well-being secondary to the bottom line. We're told to hustle harder, climb higher, and never slow down. The mantra of work hard, play hard has become a societal norm, but the reality is that the play part is often sacrificed. The pressure to constantly perform and outdo oneself is immense, leading to a never-ending cycle of stress and exhaustion. But this relentless pursuit of more has come at a steep price. The toll it takes on our mental and physical health is staggering. Anxiety, depression, and other stress-related illnesses are on the rise, and the workplace is a significant contributor to this epidemic. Our mental and physical health is suffering. Our relationships are strained. The constant pressure to perform leaves little room for personal connections, and many find themselves isolated and alone, even when surrounded by others. The impact on families is profound, with many struggling to maintain a work-life balance. We're missing out on precious moments with loved ones and neglecting our own well-being. The missed family dinners, the children's events we can't attend, the personal time we sacrifice, all in the name of work. It's a sacrifice that many are no longer willing to make as the realization dawns that life is passing by. The lack of affordable health care, the crushing burden of student loan debt, and the ever-increasing cost of living add to the pressure cooker. These financial stresses compound the already overwhelming demands of the workplace, creating a perfect storm of anxiety and despair. For many, the dream of financial stability seems increasingly out of reach. It's time to acknowledge that the system is broken and that something needs to change. The first step is recognizing the problem and understanding that it's not just an individual issue but a systemic one. We need to advocate for policies that prioritize mental health, work-life balance, and financial security. It's time to demand a system that values people over profits, one that allows us to thrive both personally and professionally. Only then can we hope to create a healthier, more sustainable future for all. The good news is that we have the power to re-
equality. Individuals must advocate for themselves and their colleagues, pushing for the changes they want to see. The time for change is now. We cannot afford to wait any longer. The future of work is in our hands, and it is up to us to shape it into something that is fair, sustainable, and fulfilling for everyone. Let us seize this moment and work together to build a better future for all.